My child, do not disregard grace, but carefully preserve so sacred a deposit, which has been entrusted to you. For this is your treasure, this is your glory, this your happiness, this your every good. This shows you the image of God and renders you like him. Know then your dignity, O man, who, by sanctifying grace, are raised even to the likeness of God, and becomes more exalted than the whole world so that nothing on earth can be compared to you. What is the splendor of the stars? What is the beauty of all creatures when placed in comparison with the excellence of a soul adorned with divine grace and hence assimilated to God himself? Therefore lift up yourself and being mindful of your dignity, do not defile or debase yourself. God adopts you, replacent with this grace, not simply as his child, but as the child of his love and predilection. Thus, what I receive by nature, you receive by adoption, so that you are not only called, but are in truth a child of God. Understand, if you are able, what it is to be a child of God, what it is to be loved and cherished by such a father. In the world, children esteem themselves happy and glory in having parents who are wise, good, influential or wealthy, great and illustrious but what are the distinctions of all the parents of this earth when compared with the attributes of God therefore with how much more reason should you glory and rejoice in having for your father God himself the Lord of heaven and earth ponder then with a true judgment the excellence of this divine adoption for when formerly you were cast away reduced to the lowest depth of degradation you became by sanctifying grace from bond free, from one disowned, the acknowledged child of God, that thus ennobled you may rejoice in the affluence of the good things of the Lord. Blessed is he who knows the price of sanctifying grace, whereby he was raised to be a child of God, and who so esteems this, the highest nobility, that on no account does he show himself degenerate, but always continues a child worthy of his father. If by grace you are a child of God, you are also made an heir, even to the heir of God, and co-heir with me. In this kingdom I hold sway, not as a lord ruling my subjects, but as a father training my child, whom I design to reign with me. So long, therefore, as you continue under this rule of grace, I guide you especially by my wisdom. I protect you by my power. I attend and encompass you, by my love. You have no reason to fear, my child, for this kingdom is so governed, so protected, so cherished, unless you become its betrayer. If you are faithful, it shall without doubt stand firm and endure forevermore all its enemies, cannot combine, overthrow, or even weaken it. How sweet, how consoling is this thought! My child, how well suited to make you esteem sanctifying grace above everything see now my child how many and at what great possessions you have in this one good alone does not this one good surpass in excellence all the riches of this world pray child that you may always understand better and more perfectly the value of grace and prize it in reality as high as you should do if you do not understand and appreciate it as you should you will deem it little or certainly not too much, to sacrifice for its preservation, not only fortune, fame, and all that is dear and pleasing, but even health, and if it were necessary, life itself. Did not my holy martyrs, and all my sainted heroes, among whom you behold so many children and tender virgins, prize it thus? Did not thousands, among them, when it was left to their choice, prefer to sacrifice amid torments, all the blessings of life, even life itself, rather than lose the same for any possession, however great the possession was that was offered. Therefore, you, the child of such heroes, use your every effort, constant watchfulness, and your greatest care to preserve grace, the most precious of all gifts, the more so as the most powerful exertions of your enemies are directed to despoil you, and accomplish your destruction. For the rest, dearly beloved, be strengthened in grace, 
increase in the same and by acts of true virtue advance to perfection. Do you understand all these things, my child? 